Over the last few months, you may have noticed an increase in the number of spiders in northeast Georgia. This is because of the introduction of the East Asian Joro spider, an invasive type of orb weaver known for its uniquely golden webs. Because of their size and population, many people are not happy about their arrival, but UGA entomologist Dr. Nancy Hinkle says that they might actually be beneficial. We're hoping that this will be an asset to our environment, that having a large predator like this will actually help to control more of our pest insects. I don't think anyone will argue with this spider eating things like mosquitoes and the biting midges and gnats and horse flies and all the pest insects. It is important to note that the spiders pose no threat to humans. They are venomous, but it is used to subdue small prey and is not strong enough to present any risk to a large animal. We also do not know exactly how they arrived in the United States, but Dr. Hinkle has some theories. Our best guess is that since they originally were found along I-85, they probably came into the country on shipping containers. As you know, I-85 is a major, major importation and transport location, and so you can imagine lots of big transfer trucks carrying these shipping containers that came from Asia. As we near winter, the spiders will begin to die off as temperatures drop, but the egg sacs they have made will overwinter and hatch in spring, likely resulting in an even larger population next year. Only time will tell what the long-term impact of these spiders will be. This has been Alex Holland for WJAG-TV.